Okay, so now it's time to uh, solder the joints. So I'm going to do that, and I've got my pair of pliers to hold on to the, the frame while I solder, because the frame's going to get really hot. Okay, so I've got uh, my little propane torch going. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just hold it to it. And of course it's going to take longer to heat up than uh, it would for the wire. So I'm just going to hold it here for a while until I feel real good and confident that it's hot. There again, you want to heat up both sides of the copper the joint. Get real good and hot. It may take like 30 seconds or so. Okay, you can see the solder is starting to melt and I'm getting a little green flame. There it goes. You see how the, the copper is just uh, hot enough and you can see the, the solder just flows right around it when it, when it gets hot enough. Okay, so now I'm going to heat up this joint. Just keep going on around, all the way around the sculpture. Alrighty, so that one is hot enough already. Okay, well, let me make sure it's got more solder in. It's good to have uh, too much solder, not enough. Of course, you don't want it dripping, because dripping doesn't look nice. Okay, see my little green flame? Okay. Alrighty. So I hope you can see that. Alrighty. Okay, and here I am going to solder the other side. Get it real good and hot. You're going to have to take about 30 seconds, maybe 20. And, you know, it doesn't have to be watertight. Um, all we're really trying to do is get the two sides to stick together. So, you know, you don't have to worry about it, you know, holding water like real fine. All I can do is just make sure that uh, the joint's not going to come apart. Some other green flame. Put some solder on it. Okay. It's not melting yet. There we go. And got one last joint to do. Okay, now what I'm going to do is drill some holes in my frame uh, so that I can uh, solder on some uh, some ribs onto my frame. So I have kind of like a, a skeleton that I can hang the rolling ball sculpture on. Also, I'm going to uh, drill a few holes in the top and bottom so that I can make little hangers uh, so that I can hang the uh, sculpture on the wall. Um, what I have is a center punch and uh, this is a really handy device. I'll tell you why. Uh, whenever you try to drill holes into a copper pipe, it's really tough because the uh, drill will want to walk all over the place. And uh, whenever you try to drill, it will just go right off the edge. And it's really hard to try to get a hole right where you want it to, to be. Uh, what a center punch will do is it will put a little dimple uh, wherever you uh, hit it. And that way, when you, when you uh, want to drill, you just set the drill right into the the uh, dimple and it'll just go right straight through. Um, so that's what's really cool about a center punch. Now this particular center punch has a spring spring loaded action inside there so you don't have to have a hammer and, and beat it in there. You can just uh, push real hard and it'll create a little dimple for you. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here we go with uh, the center punch and I'm going to just put it on there and bang, I've got a, a little dent and over here, 
bang, I've got a little dent. Okay, so I'm going to drill a hole now. And I'm just going to set the drill right into that hole. There we go. And over here. And uh, you can see my drill motor has a... There we go. So there's a couple of holes for the top. Alright, so now I'll do the same thing for the bottom. There's the dent. And there's the dent. See how nice that little center punch is? It just uh, does it without a hammer. That's pretty nice. And uh, I'm using a eighth inch drill because the uh, wire is 8 gauge and 8 gauge means there's 8 wires makes an inch so it's an eighth of an inch. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out how many uh, holes I want to make. Let's start off with a hole at the top and bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. So right there, right there, and that. Right there. Right there. Okay, so let's drill those. Okay, I'm going to continue uh, basically drilling some more holes. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure. Uh, it looks like this is about, uh, from here to here is about 18 inches. So about every 3 inches I'm going to pop a hole. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and of course 18 is already done, and same here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and of course 18 is already done. Alright, now I'm going to drill the holes. Okay, so I want to... Um, uh, put a couple of holes in the top and in the bottom also so I can uh, make a hanger. So I am going to put a little uh, dent right, right there. And let's do it again, make sure I got a good dent. There's one. And there's two. Okay. And same right here, we're going to put one right there, and one right there, and I'm going to drill my holes. And of course, uh, I'm going to be careful. You know, you don't want to drill yourself, so be careful about that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, solder little ribs on uh, so that uh, I'll have a, a skeleton for my uh, rolling ball sculpture. So I'll do that and of course I have some scrap uh, wire and so I'm just going to uh, figure out about, I don't know, six inches or so and uh, cut it off, put it, make a, some sort of little rim. Okay, so I have that and I kind of want to keep them all the same length. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So that's one and two and three and maybe they're going to be exactly the same. But, uh, let's, uh, let's put some more right there. Okay, so that's four. And five and six. 